हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू दिस सेशन ऑफ कंसेप्चुअल ऑर्थोपेडिक्स टुडे वी हैव डॉक्टर वी बी बसीन विद अस एंड वी हैव अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक विच ही बी डिस्कसिंग विच इज़ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फ्रॉम आर्थ्रोस्कोपी पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू एज द सेंग गोज वेल बिगन इज हाफ डन सो गेटिंग योर आर्थ्रोस्कोपी इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन राइट हाउ टू सिलेक्ट द राइट आर्थ्रोस्कोपी इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन हाउ टू मेंटेन इट this is what this uh, topic or this talk entails and we have none other than the pioneer of arthroscopy in india dr vb basin sir with us who will take us through this talk and enlighten us with his uh, with his pearls of wisdom over to you sir and good morning good morning uh, thank you very much for the kind introduction uh, i will be speaking on a topic which is important for anybody wanting to set up arthroscopy uh, basically there are two parts how to get instrumentation and how to get trained uh, in the triangulation and the psychomotor skills so this part is for uh, the instrumentation part and uh, briefly i will tell what is the importance of instrumentation and how to select uh, proper instrumentation uh, you know when you are offered even by the reputed companies some of them are uh, which they want you to purchase are some of the outdated ones or some of the ones which are not being used anymore uh, in the country of origin but now they are trying to sell it but so one must be aware how to select the proper instrument um, when you are wanting to set up okay so arthroscopy i will be speaking on how to you know select the proper instrument and how to maintain them so that they last you a long time and uh, you can keep using them for a long period of time as they are all very expensive doing arthroscopy is basically a technique which is possible just because of the technology the technology is technology of fiber optic technology of video technology of lenses and scopes and technology of very fine high precision high strength instrumentation it is the technology of all these things which makes this technique possible so in order to optimally utilize this technique one must understand the technology behind it and be comfortable with the instrumentation and the setup so this technology part i will be discussing in this part of the talk the technology for arthroscopy instruments so i'll go through the basic arthroscopy instrument which anybody will need uh, when he is wanting to set it up so the basic instrument for arthroscopy in any arthroscopy is an arthroscope uh, arthroscope has uh, three parts which are inseparable inseparable one is a sheath so this is the sheath this it is a scope which goes inside the sheath the scope is delicate the sheath protects the scope so the sheath carries the scope and also the sheath has a purpose of fluid being introduced from one side to distend the joint distension of the joint is the most important thing one must be aware that the joint should be well distended in order for the surgery to be carried out in good visualization the other other side there is a tap which is for suction so these two taps are attached to the sheath now if you rotate the sheath the taps will get entangled with the tubing attached to it the tubing will get entangled once you rotate this sheath if the sheath is rotated as occurs in arthroscopy this tubing which is attached to the taps will get entangled so to prevent this thing happening and to disentangle the tubing one of the features one must look for in any sheath is that these taps should be having an independent rotation of the sheath so this is the sheath here there is a cylinder around it which has a tap attached now this cylinder can move independent of the sheath 
So this helps us to disentangle the tube and that is why it is important to have sheath with independent rotating stop corks. So this is a feature one must look for when you are getting a sheath that these stop corks should be able to move independently so that when in the procedure you are doing this, this should be able to disentangle the tubing attached. So one must have a wide enough sheath in order to have a good flow rate and have the taps, these taps, which should rotate independent of the sheath here. So this feature one must look for when buying a sheath for an arthroscope. The second thing is to introduce the sheath in the beginning of the procedure, one has to have a trocar. Now, at the moment, a semi-blunt. The tip is not very sharp as it used to be when arthroscopy we started doing in 1984 or 85. There used to be a sharp one to penetrate the capsule and there used to be a blunt obturator to penetrate the synovium. But the sharp one can penetrate all the way inside and damage the cartilage. So no more is that sharp procar available. So there is only one semi-blunt thing which is available is this is what one should use. And now coming to the scope. The scope is a 4 mm diameter. 4 mm is the diameter of the scope which is used for most of the arthroscopy whether it is in shoulder, knee, ankle, elbow. These joints are mostly done with a 4 mm or even hip is done with a 4 mm scope. The scope has, it has an angle of view of 30 degrees. So this has sees at an angle of 30 degrees. So the advantage is that if it is angle 30 degrees, when you rotate, you get a large arc of field of view. If it is looking straight only, if you rotate, you will only get what is in front of you. The view will not change. But here, if the, as the scope is angled about 30 degrees, it is a good, comfortable angle. If you have a more angled scope, then it is not very comfortable. The 30 degree scope has an advantage that it gets the view directly in front and slightly off also. The 70 degree scope, which is angled, is not very commonly used, but sometimes used in the post-PCL reconstruction, but it is not a very comfortable scope to work with. So 30 degree scope is uh, good enough and most of the scopes now have a wide angle of field of view. Now this tube, which is the scope, has fiber opted connecting cable attachment at one side. This cable is 180 degree to the angle on which the, on the side on which the scope is viewing. So this cable and this are opposite of the angle of where the scope is visualizing. So this cable, which is in your hand, tells you that where the scope is looking inside the joint and by rotating the scope, by holding the cable, one can keep getting a wide field of view, okay? So one must understand that this cable, which is the fiber optic light carrying cable, so the light carries from here, there is fiber optic inside this tube also, which carries the light all the way to the inside of the joint, okay? So, and it has got lenses here to carry the images. So this fiber optic cable is opposite to the side in which the front of the scope is visualizing. So this is what one must understand that one should have a 40 degree, 4 mm, 30 degree wide angle scope as the only scope if one has to have. 